In Arizona, it's sort of the haves and the haves not when it comes to precipitation. Of course, the greater Phoenix area and the majority of Arizona's population lives in the Sonoran Desert. And we're lucky to get seven or eight inches of rain a year. Then we have the spine of mountains through the central part of the state, covered with beautiful forests, but that's the source of our drinking water. All the rain and snow that falls there creates runoff that fills our reservoir system. And it's that water that we use here in the valley to provide for all of our water needs. If our reservoirs are full, we have three full years of water supply stored in our reservoirs. That's how we manage to get through these dry years that we have. We utilize the water that we stored and captured in a wet year, and that helps us through the period when it's dry and we don't get the runoff that we need. We live in a desert climate, and we need to plan for drought all the time. And if we do that, we're never gonna be surprised. When we think about climate change, we're talking about incrementally changing our climate within a climate that has huge variability. So it will take probably decades before we can actually discern the effects of climate change. So it's very important for us to really stay the course on how we manage because we anticipate that climate change may make droughts a little bit deeper, a little bit more severe. When you look back at SRP's entire history, we have always been at the forefront of planning for changes in water use, water demand, water infrastructure, we're always thinking ahead, and it's no different today. We are, if not leading, we are funding research into climate change. We're participating in climate change research. We're looking at ways to better manage water supply in the reservoirs, underground, other cooperative agreements with others. And we're looking at our infrastructure. Right now we're thinking about building an interconnect facility at the CAP that will take our water into their system. Right now we can bring their water into ours. But to truly integrate water supply management throughout the central part of Arizona, we need to tie these two systems together. We need to look more at groundwater recharge. At Roosevelt Dam, there's a huge amount of flood control space, which was built into the project in the 1990s. There's an opportunity to temporarily store this excess flood water after a productive winter. In the past, SRP was required to release this water from the flood control space within 20 days. Now, SRP is approved to temporarily hold that water in the flood control space for 120 days. This allows farms and communities downstream to make good use of the water instead of it being released into the normally dry Salt River. In Arizona, water is so precious that we need to use every drop to its utmost ability and care for it. That doesn't mean don't use water if you need it, but really take care and use that water to the best of its ability.